Washington Jefferson freshman football team back on the field tonight, playing in their first game since one of their teammates was paralyzed in last week's home opener. Courtney Godfrey was there for all of the plays tonight. And Courtney, lots of support for Ethan Glynn in the crowd tonight. Yeah, Randy, the head football coach tells me he's never seen a crowd at a freshman football game like this. Many in the crowd sporting the number eight, the number that Ethan wore on the field. And his teammates, the Jaguars, were clearly bringing an energy and an enthusiasm to this game today that only he could have inspired. In between goalposts, Underneath the late summer sun, the Bloomington Jefferson freshman football team begins to heal. They're happiest when they're together um, and when they get to play a game. That's their brotherhood, you know, and they like being in that. The team given the choice to sit this one out after watching one of their teammates go down last week in the home opener and never get back up. As I talked to the kids yesterday, I said, you know, don't necessarily play for Ethan, play like Ethan. Head football coach Tim Carlson saying the boys overwhelmingly chose to play. Just to see the joy that they're playing with and the energy they're playing with, um, it, 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 you know, it's, it, it hits me. Ethan's jersey number worn on custom shirts seen up and down the sideline as the 15 year old remains hospitalized with severe neck and spine injuries. The long term prognosis unknown. Wrap that up, guys. His team channeling Ethan's strength and resilience as they pulled off a 30 nothing win against St. Louis Park. Today doesn't solve anything. It's going to be an hour by hour, day by day, week by week, month by month kind of fight. At this point, Ethan has undergone several surgeries to try and help him regain feeling from the shoulders down. He is still intubated according to the last update from his parents and he's using a special communication board in order to express himself to his care team and his family. Reporting live in St. Louis Park tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9. Mm. We wish him the very best and hopefully recovery is in his future. He has an amazing army of support yeah. though. You can see that out there tonight.